guys so i just did that whole little routine for y'all and now i'm going to be getting um ready to step out of the house um i uh i've literally been inside this whole entire time i've been on spring break since yesterday until so today is saturday and um i have some things to do today actually didn't do anything yesterday but i actually have a little outing so I'm gonna just go ahead and put on just a little bit of makeup. I'm not gonna do nothing too crazy for me anyway, because what's crazy for me might not be crazy for you guys. So, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I just need to touch them up a little bit because I already pretty much have a lot of it on already. Because I don't, I don't ever wipe my eyebrows off because to redraw them on every single day is a headache. So I just leave them on. And then I just trace whatever gaps I need to put in there. And yeah. And you can too. <laughs> because to redraw your eyebrows on every single freaking day, dude, like, you're gonna go cry cry. I will be right back. I gotta go get my eyeshadow palette, and I don't have it on me, so. Alright. Got my palette. It's, um, I'm using the Juvie's Place. I don't think I ever really use this one, so I'm gonna just use this one because I want to put on some yellow for some reason. Anyways, I also went to, um, sleep at, like, 2 o'clock. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I woke up at, like, 11. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna do yellow because yellow is not showing up because I'm black. I'm gonna just do orange. Ugh. I always do orange, but whatever. I woke up at, I went to sleep at like 2 o'clock in the morning because I was watching 90 Day Fiance because the new season is a mess. It's um, actually, it's 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. That's my favorite one to watch because the Americans, they're actually going over there to the people's country, the foreigners that they're talking to. And it's just so interesting because they be getting so they be getting scammed like uh, I don't understand it, but yeah, it's really entertaining. So I watch it for that simple fact. But they're embarrassing to the culture. And we're done with that. That's why I only do one color because it's simple and it's quick, and that's what I need in my life at this at this time. It's so hot right now in my house. And then I have on a sweater, so it's making it even worse. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I think I'm a little weird. This is like my favorite mascara to use ever. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I saw we had won commercials before, but then I saw this guy on Twitter. He had made like a little tweet <laughs> about it. And he was like listing all of the best mascaras and all the other ones like expensive. But this one was on there and I saw it was only $10.99. So I had to cop it and I literally love it so much. Also has so much product in it already and that's like amazing. I love when it has like so much because that means it's not going to like run out and it's not going to dry up so quickly. These are so short. Oh my god. I've never worn short lashes since I first started doing lashes, which was like two years ago. These are so tiny. Look at this. These are not big blinks. Oh my god. I'm gonna look natural. That's, that's disgusting. I need to order some more because I cannot be wearing these. These are the only ones that I could find, which means I need to order more. And I like to order a lot of lashes at a time because I also sell lashes too. And I'm actually out, so I need to reorder them before I get more clients and stuff coming to me so that they can get some lashes. This is the tedious part of doing your makeup. Oh shit, it didn't stick. Ah! This is how they look. I don't like it. It's so tiny. So freaking tiny. Ew. Ugh. I look natural. <laughs> Bro. I shouldn't even be touching my face. Like, what am I doing? Girl. 
I'm just trying to get sick, I guess. Should I make an eyelash tutorial? I feel like there's really no need. It's 2020. You should know how to put on your eyelashes, but I feel like a lot of people still don't know how to put on their own eyelashes. So I think I'm going to make like a video and I'm going to do like a whole bunch of ways that you can put your eyelashes on because a hell of people still don't know. And that's crazy. I learned in the ninth grade how to put my lashes on. The ninth freaking grade. It was like the end of my ninth grade year. It's when I got into makeup because I used to go to school looking like a basic hoe and yeah. I didn't want to keep doing that. I didn't want to keep going to school looking like a basic girl. So I started learning how to put on my lashes. I think I started with eyeshadow. With my makeup transition or whatever. I think I started with doing eyeshadow. I remember I did this black eyeshadow look where it was like black in the crease. And then like shimmer on the eyelid. That was my first I shall look. I wish I had a picture of it. If I find a, the picture, I'll put it up here. Cause like, it was laying at the time. Everybody was like, "Oh my god, your makeup is so fantastic!" And I was like, "Thank you." The wrong comes for I look so dark. Becca Raccoon. Anyway, I'm gonna take my concealer. Put that up under my eyes. Okay, I look a little less, a little less dark up under my eyes, but I still feel like a raccoon. I also want to try this Fenty new setting powder too, because I heard that that was really good. And I like the Sasha Buttercup cosmetics, but sometimes I feel like it's too light for me, because I feel like it makes it takes away from the color of the concealer. But I never knew what else to try because it's not really a lot of setting powders for dark skinned people always used this but i really want to try i think that's what's going to be the next product that i get the 50 good setting powder booyah also i got this tip from camila mendez from riverdale she said that she puts like setting powder over her little scarf and it makes it like the shine of them go away it makes it more like matte so I'm gonna do that today because I do got some scars that I don't want to be shown. Now my last step is to just put on some mascara on my bottom lash line, just so I don't look bald down there. You know, you look a little, you look a little bit bald when you don't put on mascara on the bottom sometimes. So we're gonna put it on the bottom. So I think I'm going to do my hair. I think I'm just going to straighten it honestly because I don't know. I'm going to go to the beach. So it's like, what's the point of curling it? The humidity is going to just make it go like, so I think I'm just going to straighten my hair and then I will be heading out. So yeah, I will see y'all guys later. Ah, I love how I look in this lighting. I look so sun kissed and just cute. So I just went ahead and did everything so y'all didn't see that. But I just straightened my hair up a little bit. It was already pretty much straight. So I'm going to go ahead and get dressed and everything. And then I will see you guys when I'm done with that. Guys, everything. It's a lot of people were actually um, than I thought there would be. But it's okay because we're just going to, you know, we're going to stay away from those people. Um, yeah. I'm not getting in the water though. I don't want to. Ciao. Just checking in. Bonnie! <laughs> this water cold, yo! This water is freaking cold! Where is that, Lonnie? Let me see it. What is that? What you got in your hand? Okay. <laughs> Oh, that girl got a coronavirus in her hand. Codex.